In this video, I will be creating a placeholder material to use with my cliffs when they're first imported into Unreal. Let's quickly make a temporary material to set up with our cliffs. So let's create a material. I'm going to call this um, cliff. To begin with, I'm going to come down to the details panel and check use material attributes. Then add a make material attributes. We're going to copy and paste that. So I've got two of these. So one is going to be a material for the grass that's going to be on the top surfaces of the cliff. And then the second material is going to be the, the, uh, the rock for the cliff. So first of all, let's add a color to our grass material. And I'm going to do that just by just hovering uh, anywhere in the material graph, holding three on the keyboard and left click. And that will lay down this color node. And let's just make this a grass color. A little bit darker. That will do. And we'll connect that to the base color. So that's the grass material. Let's come down to our second make material attributes. And this time I'm going to drop down four color nodes. That's just again, just holding three and left clicking anywhere in the graph. And then I'm going to drop down three lerp nodes and I'll do that by holding L on the keyboard and clicking three times in the graph view. So these are linear interpolate nodes and these can um, blend from between one color and another. And what I'm going to have is a color for the rock, a color for the convexity, concavity and amine occlusion masks that I have stored on the vertex color. So I'm just going to connect these up. And then the first look goes into the A channel on the second. And our third color goes into the B channel. Let's connect the second lerp to the A channel on the third lerp, and then connect that final color. Now I'm going to add a vertex color node. And then connect up the red, green, and blue channel to the alpha on the lerps. So this first color will be the color of our rock. So I'm just going to make this some kind of dark brown for the rock. The next color is for the convexity. So this is going to be a color along the edges of the cliffs. So let's make this a kind of gray color as if the edges of the cliffs have been worn away. The next color is for concavity. So this will be in all the kind of crevices of the cliffs. This is kind of maybe where dirt is built up. So let's make this one a kind of dark, dusty brown color. And then finally for ambient occlusion. So this is going to be kind of in the darker areas of the cliff. Maybe not quite as much light as getting to. So I'm going to make this one a kind of dark grey. And this is just purely placeholder. So we can kind of come back and tweak these colours if we need to. One thing I need to do is invert the blue channel for our vertex color, which is the ambient occlusion mask. So I'm going to type one minus, and this node will just invert that mask and then connect that back to the alpha. And now connect this lerp to the base color. So that's just going to be a quick placeholder material for our cliffs. 
The last thing we need to do is blend these two materials together. So I'm going to add a node called Blend Material Attributes and connect the, our, the grass material to B and the cliff material to A and then connect that to the material attributes. And the last thing I need to add is an alpha to blend these two materials together. And I want the grass to be on the top surface of our glyphs and then rock on the sides. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to add a vertex normal world space. I'm just going to preview this in the viewport. And there you can kind of see we've got this color gradient in different directions. So let's connect this to a component mask. And then start previewing this node. Uncheck the red, green, and check the blue channel instead. And there we go. Now you can see we've got a mask that's on the kind of top surface. Switch to a cube. And there you can see it's only on that top of that cube. But I want to have a bit of control of this mask so I can adjust how much it's blending between the grass and the rock. So next, add a smooth step. Stop previewing that node now and connect it to the value input on the smooth step. And then connect that smooth step to this blend attributes alpha. And there, now you can see we've got a blend going on between the grass and the rock. And I can just adjust this min and max value to adjust where that blend is and how sharp it is. I'm going to set min to 0 0.6 and then max to spring time to 0 0.75, 0 0.75. There we go. Now we've got a blend between the grass and the rock. So this is going to serve as a good starting point for our material and we'll I'll come back later on in the video series uh, to develop this material further. So for now I'm just going to hit save. Now I can close this, close that and then right click create material instance and call this MI for material instance cliff. And we can save that. So that concludes this video. Next, I'm going to be creating a digital asset that will cut up these larger cliff sections into tiles.